Hey guys, it's Albert here again from Ossilicious, and I want to give you a quick look at uh, what I've been doing for the last month and all the crazy changes that have happened in uh, Bee Cleaver 1.4. So, lots and lots of stuff's changed, and uh, lots of improvements and new features and stuff. So, first thing, uh, there's new icons, not super exciting, but the, <laughs> let me know what you think of the new icons, whether you like them better or worse than the, the old green ones. Um, I hope they're better, though. Also, the, the transport bar is now uh, twice as big, so it's just easier to click. It's easier to seek. Not super exciting. The loop bar also looks better. But a uh, big change here is the uh, there's now tempo controls, tempo and pitch controls on the main window. A lot of people were asking for that. So it's easier to just do time stretching right away, just get into it and start going. I think that's a lot better now, so pretty happy about that. Uh, what else? Another change that you can't see is that there's actually tempo detection. So the tempo here of 80 BPM was actually, like the Bee Cleaver just figured it out. And it works pretty, pretty well on most, most files. So I'm happy the way that that turned out as well. Um, makes everything a lot easier to use, I think. Uh, what else is new here? So in edit mode, tons and tons of changes. First off, new graphics, of course. <laughs> There's, uh, things are starting to look a little bit nicer. For example, the gain now has this nice slider and it also shows the, the, the decibel value. Um, what else is new here? Yeah, let's go through the, um, some of the edit changes here. Uh, so duplicate and reverse work a little bit differently, but a little bit nicer now. Um, let's slice, there we go. So, and I've also added all of these uh, standard editing actions that you expect, like copy, copy paste, and cut. For example, if you right click there and we cut, just actually cuts the audio. You can cut and paste stuff. Um, these actions also work on the edits themselves, so you can like cut and paste edits. Um, and everything's undoable, which is really nice. And what else? There's also, for example, we can also, uh, what are some of the new ones here? You can trim to the selection, so we can trim the file just to whatever's highlighted. We can also, um, let's see, we can delete. So let's try deleting these four middle slices here. There you go. And again, that's undoable. So what else is new here? There's some other stuff. Let me show you. <clears throat> um, actually, one more thing on the break. Everybody has also been asking for this one. If you go here, uh, you can now export your slices as a MIDI file. So it gives you a MIDI file where the notes correspond to where these slice points are. And so if you export your slices, if you just save all your slices to Wave and then save the, the MIDI file, you can reconstruct the beat um, in a DAW and like change your change the sounds around or whatever. So it's it's good if you want to like extract the extract the groove of a beat. That is really really helpful. You can just slice insert these slice points wherever you want. Uh, that's another new thing actually. If you hold down Shift, you can insert slice points just by clicking on the waveform. If you hold down Control, you can also just uh, it'll start playback wherever you click. Uh, when I clear this. So, just tons and tons and tons of little improvements like that. Uh, what else is going on? I've got a little list here. Um, normalization. That's a big one. It hides a lot of uh, complexity, but let's load a big file in. Okay, so here, there, you saw that the tempo detection's running, and bang, it got it, 117. Um... So now in edit mode, you can also normalize slices. Watch this. Whoop, there it is. Uh, it's really fast and uh, calculates the normalization as you move it around. And it's all, again, just, just as fast. But now the thing, the problem is, right, I've got this big normalization applied to the, to the entire song. But when you click around, say I want to add more edits, this thing is in the way. So I added this feature, which is that you can now hide edits. So you just hide the normalization, there you go, now you can just keep editing like usual, move stuff around. And that's really nice when you're working on a break and you have tons and tons of little, um, say you have tons and tons of little uh, 
edits going on, you might have, to, um, you know, little f fades, duplicates, all this stuff going on. It's sometimes just nice to, to select them, hide them, and then you don't have to worry about it. It makes it easier. Uh, what else is going on? There's just tons of tons of little changes in the editor. For example, like if you zoom in and you scroll around, there like the you're able to scroll while you're dragging something. You can also resize the the freeform selection now, so you don't have to get it like totally perfect. And again, yeah, you can see that the, the window scrolls. So just just a, that sort of, these little sorts of features take tons of time. I also experimented. I can't show you it, but I experimented with a. Uh, a type of edit called a group, which allows you to basically stack like different edits inside a single block that you can move around. So you could uh, like stack a duplicate and a gain together and then move them around together. Um, and it works okay, but it's just a bit confusing and it's just, I don't know, the idea is not quite there. So I'm gonna have to try, maybe give it another shot in the future and try to figure out a way to make it feel nice and easy and that sort of stuff. Okay, so that's basically what's been going on for the last month, and I'm going to try to, uh, I think pretty much what we see here is what's going to end up being Beat Cleaver 1.4. Pretty much out of time now for, for new features, um, but it's definitely, this is by far the biggest Beat Cleaver update ever. It's huge. Uh, I'll post some statistics on, on the release announcement about like lines of code changed and stuff like that. But it's going to be uh, it's going to be big. So watch. I would say I don't know exactly what's going to go on with the public beta, but this thing needs a lot of testing right now. And so maybe it makes sense to to release some sort of a public beta for you guys to play with. Um, so I'm going to say watch Facebook and Twitter and the blog for news on a public beta. And uh, if I have something to send around, I'll post it on there. And uh, otherwise, uh, thanks for watching. And if you have any questions, comments. Please feel free to post on the on YouTube or wherever, and I'd be happy to uh, to answer them. And thanks for watching, guys. Take care.